Hi everyone, I'm Grace and I work here at the Downtown Library and today I'm going to be recommending some spooky, scary, and thematic books for this year's spooky season. If you want to check out any of these books, please click the link in the description or go to redwoodcity.org library. So first we have Damsel by Elena K. Arnold. This was a Prince Honor book. And in this world, for a prince to become a king, he must venture to the Greylands, slay a dragon, and rescue a damsel. When Amo wakes up, she remembers nothing of what came before, just the prince is telling her that he rescued her and she is his now. But there's far more to damsels and dragons than anyone knows. This is a beautifully dark fairy tale with a lot of commenting on power and oppression and everything in between. Highly recommend, definitely a hard 14 plus. Next, we have The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. In a small town in Pennsylvania, humans live side by side with the fair folk. And those who grow up in the town know how to handle it. And if a tourist sometimes goes missing, well, people should know better than to insult fairies. There's also, in the woods, a beautiful horned boy in a glass coffin, right up until there isn't. Our two main characters are Hazel, a wonderfully smart and protective, total awesome girl, and her brother, Ben, who is definitely the nice one, probably. It's a really interesting take, I think, on fairies and fairy folklore, especially if you don't really know anything about fairy folklore. Uh, and the best part is that Holly Black continues to write in this really awesome world that she's created. Highly, highly recommend it. Now we have The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Our main character travels all over with her mom, always one step ahead of their perpetual bad luck. And this is the status quo until her grandmother, the reclusive author of a cult classic book of dark fairy tales, dies in her manor, the Hazelwood. And when her mom goes missing, taken by someone who claims to come from the dark world that her grandmother wrote about, all she has to go on is a note that her mother left her that says, don't go to the Hazelwood. It's pretty intense. It has some dark moments, but one of the things I like about it is that it feels both familiar and unique at the same time. And don't worry, there is a sequel. Last but not least, I have two books by the same author. First, there's Wicked Deep. And second, there's Winterwood. They're both by Shay Earnshaw. And Shay's really amazing ability is to make a modern day small town in Oregon feel like a fairy tale. In Wicked Deep, you have three sisters who every June come back to haunt the town after they were convicted of witchcraft and drowned in the Pacific. And now, 200 years later, they continue to get the revenge on the men of the town. And in Winterwood, it is in a small mountain community, tiny mountain community, in the middle of a blizzard. And it stars the last in a long line of witches and the dead boy who walked out of the dark forest. Happy reading.